So welcome. I'm here with Farah, known as Farah Fitness on Instagram today. So how are you, Farah? I'm good. Thank you, Scott. And so Farah is one of our amazing newsiest advocates, and she's actually on a big build up for the Muscle Mania Asia event happening on the 10th of December. So I just wanted to check in, catch up, see how your build up's going. So <laughs> tell me about it. You said that you said earlier you've had a few issues in this prep, but Tell me a little bit about the Muscle Asia event or Muscle Amania Asia event and um, what's going on. All right. Um, Muscle Mania um, is coming to Singapore um, on 10 December this year. So um, we're going to expect uh, many international athletes all over the world to come to Asia to compete. And um, there's a few categories. For female, there's a uh, model, bikini, and figure. And then, of course, there's also male athletes uh, competing in their own categories. So for me, I am going to compete in bikini. Yeah. And so what are the differentiations between each of those categories? Mm -hmm. um, just so everyone in the audience knows what... Because when you think of bodybuilding, normally you think of these giant people on the stage that are taking all of the good and potentially bad supplements, but you don't look like that. You look very trim, even though okay. you have a lot of muscle, <laughs> but uh, you're looking very trim. So maybe you can explain those categories. Okay. Um, I would say for mine, bikini, um, there's a few um, factors that they are looking at. So of course, um, we have to portray uh, uh, some femininity, you know, um, and then, uh, sexy personality, body appearance, as in body condition. So you need to be athletic and toned. Um, your body has to be uh, symmetrical in terms of your muscles. You know, um, yeah. They look at all that. Maybe for figure, it's more towards um, um towards more muscularity. I'll say, yeah. And uh, model is more like I would say sporty fashion, um, uh, 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 softer looks, okay, some, something that, you know, um, they can, they can just uh, portray themselves uh, wearing uh, even fashion and also sporty look, they can carry both and they, are, they have to be versatile. Yeah, right. So I choose bikini. And then uh, I got to know that there's two rounds in bikini. So yeah. one is the bikini itself, where I'm going to wear like, uh, sparkling uh, full screens uh, bikini set and then another one is themed wear so we can choose whatever theme we want yeah so that's awesome. a secret <laughs> and, and then for for the male side of the competition is there a um i know the world competition is coming up soon for the uh the muscle building competition is there yeah. a big like a bulk competition as part of the show as well Yes, for for a male, uh, what I know is there is at least two. One is model, and another one is like um, physique. I guess yeah, they have that. Right. So, how do you even prepare for a competition like this? Maybe you can talk us through a training week of how how much time do you need to spend in the gym? Because I know you're you do work as well. You're a personal trainer and you're a nurse. Yes. And yes. you're a mother, so you yes. handle an incredible amount of load. But maybe you can share with us how much time is expected to spend in the gym, and what mm -hmm. would nutritional components be of that as well? Okay, uh, my training workout split is six days. So in a week, um, I train uh, for six days, uh, focusing on different muscle groups. So there may be um two days where i have to train the same muscle let's say shoulders because um that's where the focus is uh, for bikini uh, the judges will be looking at your delts your shoulders and also the glutes so i have like um three legs days and two shoulders days yeah and then the rest will be like arms uh, back is only once a week because i feel that back is my strength so I still need to continue training my back. Um, but then the focus is more on shoulders and glutes for ladies. And I do cardio every day, seven days. So basically, there's no days off. <laughs> and, and do you split your training? Do you do your weights in the morning and then cardio in the evening? Or do you lump it all into one session? 
um, it's it's actually uh, separate because um, I need um, energy uh, and I need to focus on cardio. So usually I do my cardio fasted, like first thing in the morning after my uh, New Zest uh, Good Green Vitality coffee, straight away jump onto my cardio bike, then shower, uh, have a breakfast, go to the gym and train. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and then you've yeah. mentioned... Um, through this, you've had a few challenges in this preparation. Maybe you can mm -hmm. tell us about some of the challenges that you faced. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say everyone's uh, prep is challenging. Like we have our own story to tell. So um, I shouldn't complain because they say it's a privilege that you um, are able to compete. To, to go through this is a privilege because it actually costs a lot, not only investing, in terms of um, money, but it's time, effort, um, diet, and maybe um, uh, time with your loved ones, like a lot is needed. So um, I don't know. So maybe due to stress level or um, I ate too much chilies. So I was down with stomach flu for a week. Um, it's quite mm -hmm. bad. My tummy was, you know, churning um, you know, on and off. And then, you know, I... Yeah, I have to go to the toilet many times, see the doctor and all. Not good. Uh, but uh, I only took like two to three days off uh, from gym and then I'm like, I have to get back. I just I just have to push it because yeah. there's no more fever. So uh, stop complaining. <laughs> and, I just have and, to go for it. And you have a medical condition that, so you've got a <laughs> thyroid um, or an underactive or non-active thyroid. So this also needs to be built into your training plan as well, right? Yes, so uh, the first thing I wake up is to take my thyroid pills. So I'm on uh, thyroid uh, hormone replacement because a few years back, I removed my thyroid hormone through uh, radiation therapy at the hospital because I've been uh, having like relapses of um, hyperthyroidism episodes. So the doctor advised like, okay, uh, you need to, you, are, you might want to consider removing it because taking this medication long term uh, might have um, effects on your liver. And also if let's say I want to get pregnant in the future, um, it may not be safe for the baby. And then I'm like, okay, so I have to take pills every day until I die. Like, yeah, but don't worry, this is not a drug. It is just a hormone pill. So it's safe, totally no side effects. It is not medication. It's just your hormone, you know, you need it so that your heart can function and other systems as well uh, can function normally because thyroid is like the control center. It controls everything uh, and it connects your organs everywhere. Then I'm like, okay, this is it. Yeah, I, I do want side effects. So I have to weigh uh, the benefits and risks and I think like I should go for it. So now, yeah, every morning I take the medication, yeah. But what you're saying is that for people who have had a medical history, and um, I think many of us have gone through medical experiences, but it shouldn't be a block, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there right. can be a way around this. Mm -hmm. So you're a great example of that. So well done. This is Thank the you. third time you've done a cut. And we talked about, um, we talked to you before, I think it was your first show, maybe three years ago. But um, I'd be, I'd really like to understand what is the differences between this show, this cut and build up compared to previous years, which was happened to be before COVID. All right. So I remember uh, when I met my coach um, in third quarter of 2000, uh, I feel like um, uh, being in the fitness industry is um, actually maybe what I want. Um, because before that, I was into fashion modeling and also doing um, uh, modeling for wedding gowns. So I'm like, I like to gym and I like to train. I love fitness. Why not? Um, you know, uh, I can do something else. Uh, and and yeah. So after I, you know, um, he, uh, after he trained me and then I feel like, okay, so I, uh, let's do a photo shoot. And then I challenge myself, see whether I can get, uh, you know, uh, leaner and get into a better uh, aesthetics in terms of athletic look. So uh, I got this uh, photo shoot going on, a uh, bikini shoot, and it turns out very nice. Uh, that was in Jan uh, 2021. So I told him, I think I want to compete because I kind of know how it's like to cut and yeah. I'm willing to go for it. So yeah, I trained for about a year and a half. You know, the whole of that year was COVID, no competitions. Uh, and then... 
um, this year, this year I was uh, contacted by uh, a, a bodybuilding federation uh, to compete uh, for a show in Indonesia. So I prepped for the show uh, and I only got to know like four days out from the show that um, the show is not going to happen. So it got cancelled. Right. So, well, uh, God knows how devastating I felt. Um, and that actually made the fire burning. <laughs> yeah. The drive to compete is there. I'm like, I need to get this. I'm very close. I'm so close. So that's my second uh, experience in cutting, you know. So I feel like I can do better than this. I can be leaner. I can be stronger mentally. And I'm going to push it through. Like, even it's, it's going to be the best my first best competition. So, I mean, it's good that it's in Singapore. So my coach say, yeah, let's go for muscle mania. You have more time, you have 16 weeks. And yeah. he say, uh, he doesn't want to lose uh, the time. Like I should, I should start uh, training right after um, that show, the Indonesia got canceled. So yeah, so here, here I am, I'm like, uh, yeah, few weeks out. But it's been <laughs> a very long build up, but you started from a great base. So I think, that's why you've got uh, an amazing figure so far. I'm really looking forward to your cut. But um, mm -hmm. during all, all of this, you're also working, and we mentioned before, you're doing some personal training work, and you actually specialize in working with female clients. So what are some of these learnings that you, you're going through a lot for these shows? What are some of the learnings that you're giving to your female clients and helping them reach their um, fitness goals? Um, well, some ladies, um, they prefer um, a female trainer because they might uh, be more comfortable and they feel like they can uh, communicate better. And some, yeah, I'd say, uh, and I also enjoy the, the laugh, the talks that we have like, with all my female clients. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, we have a lot of things in common, you know. Mm. Uh, we we uh, well, I understand um, the women's uh, menstrual cycle and some stuff like motherhood. So um, it it is not a boring session. If let's say you train with me, you can talk with me anything you want about health, about family. Yeah. So yep. <laughs> and see. you also bring your nursing experience to the table as yes. well, which is so valuable. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more than what a normal PT can really deliver. So um, are there any instances where you've had kind of an intervention with your nursing knowledge that you're able to talk about? All right. Um, I'm now uh, training a few um, pregnant ladies. Wow. So, yeah. So I feel like, okay, uh, maybe they, they want to train with me because I'm a nurse. Uh, and <laughs> uh, they won't they won't be able to panic you know in the future if anything happens or if they feel that they are in pain or something like that I would say it's more about being comfortable and confident that mm. your personal trainer is actually um, is medically trained yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah I, I'd say that might be one uh, one factor that um, that I can see why uh, female uh, more and more females are coming to train with me and i also see them uh, i also have like messages uh, on instagram asking me about my pt sessions and location uh, maybe they see through the stories i post my routine my diet um, sharing some uh, workout stuff so i think they get uh, motivated so mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of uh, you know some of these um, messages saying that they get motivated but they don't know where to start or how to start so uh, that's why I see all these questions coming in yeah so shouting out to all ladies listening to this or reading this clip make sure you reach out to Farah at underscore Farah underscore fit nurse on Instagram and DM her for more information she does train across across a few locations so it's really convenient for you but um, a really great trainer to have in your court with all of that knowledge. You also have used Newsest for a long time and you recommend it for some of your clients. Yes. How does Newsest work into your programming and how you actually, for yourself, but also your clients? All right. So the common question I get from my client is, 
oh, do I have to start on the protein? Like, what supplement would you recommend? Uh, what do I eat? How many calories? So, this is all common. Um, I would say, um, of course, I will recommend what I'm taking because it works for me, it's safe, and for me, it's quality over anything else. Mm. So, um, I will share with them. Uh, we can actually request for a free sample, see if you like it. Yeah, and then you can see what are the flavors and they have many uh, flavors to choose from. So, and then they will ask, but if let's say I don't train, do I still have to take protein shake? So I said, you need to take protein every day. You need to hit your uh, daily minimum requirement because if let's say you uh, don't enough, you don't eat enough uh, proteins uh, on your real, for your real foods, from your real foods, you still need to supplement it with your protein shake. So even elderly need protein, uh, children, uh, the sick. So what about you? Of course, you're going to train two to three times a week. Definitely, you need protein to build muscle because you are here to build muscle and uh, build your strength, right? So yeah, you need. So yeah, that's what and I that, advise. That's great advice. And, mm -hmm. and you also have some other tools that you use to track your workout. So I noticed you have a Fitbit on your wrist. Yes. So um, how do you use Fit Fitbit for all your workouts? Okay, um, well, they have many interesting features. This watch, uh, the most interesting fe uh, feature is the sleep analysis. Mm. So every month, they will send a report on my app saying that what is your sleep animal profile? If let's say I got one was a giraffe. So what does a giraffe uh, symbolize? That means I take longer time to fall asleep or let's say when I'm asleep, I'm, I really sleep very well. So wow. they study right. the patterns and your heart rate and stuff. So sleep feature is very good. Um, I yes. like it. And then it monitors my heart rate, uh, my oxygen level, uh, um, a lot of a lot of features. I can log in into the app, my uh, fluid intake, my food mm. log, uh, menstrual cycle, which I think ladies will appreciate that a lot so that um, you know we can track. Uh, every day you know what, what what are the changes and symptoms you can just put in the app so it's all integrated into one um yeah so i wear it 24 7 shower sleep yeah so just charge it like um every three to four days yeah and lots of those <laughs> lots of those trackable things we actually cover off in our other articles so i'll put in a link to the biohacking article which has been written on the news yes website but sleep tracking is super important i'm glad you're really digging into that you also have a couple of other sponsors. So I want to give you a chance to quickly call them out as well. Oh, yeah. Because they've been super supportive. I know it's expensive <laughs> yeah. to do your build up. So let's uh, call them out and say thanks. All right. Okay. Um, so besides Fitbit, which is this watch, okay, um, I have, um, I'm sponsored by a meal prep company called Yummy Bros. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Yummy Bros um, is a meal prep company and if you can check their website, um, they do customized meal plan. So if let's say you have your own um, uh, required uh, proteins or carbs in terms of the macros, so it's very friendly where you can actually select your own food options. So uh, they, are, they are kind enough uh, to sponsor me throughout this uh, uh, prep you know, for, for this show. Um, next one is Rider Wear. I've been working with Rider Wear for quite some time. So I'm one of the ambassador. So if you can see my page, uh, most of my workout outfits are from Rider Wear. Okay. And um, the Why is your Rider skin so good? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Why is your skin so good? Oh, because I'm using Ole. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so I received a few uh, messages saying that, no, you are not turning 40. No, no way. Don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I am turning 40 soon, but not next year. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. And a yeah, um, yeah. couple more questions before we go. Do they have a dad bod um, category in the Muscle <laughs> Mania Asia coming up? Because I was, I was looking to compete, <laughs> but... um. No? Okay. No. Um, I'm fortunate. I'm going to have to get <laughs> to the gym a bit more often. Um, yes. What, before we finish, what is your favorite protein flavor? Um, the Clean Lean Protein range, what is your favorite flavor? They say chocolate is always the safest. I don't know why. So yes. So my favorite uh, flavor is chocolate. So just ice cold water. Yeah. New Zest chocolate. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's mine. That's my choice. Clean. Awesome. So thank you very much for coming on and chatting with us today. We wish you all the best at the Muscle Mania Asia coming up on the 10th of December. 
And I know you're going to have lots of other shows. I'm sure you're going to keep carrying on with this. Yes, but um, yeah. yeah, we look forward to chatting more and more in the future. And like I said before, you can follow Farah at at Farah underscore fit nurse on Instagram. She has so much fun with her clients and she posts almost every day. So check yeah. that out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, right. Bye. See you.